So yeah, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Y'all, welcome back to Living Gratefully. I just wanted to come on here on my lunch break and talk to you and tell you that I'm walking so much more normal now and it's so exciting. I am not walking with a limp. I have so many um, areas that used to have pain that don't have pain and it just feels so good. I'm just praising God for this improvement and I'm so excited. I just had to come on here and tell you. So um, let's see, I'm taking a lot of phosphorus pills and calcitriol, I call it calcitriol. I think it's supposed to really be called calcitrol. But um, yeah, so I think that that is helping. Now we don't have an official diagnosis, but I am ecstatic that I have seen so much improvement. And yesterday we had Luca's little three year old birthday party. Taylor came in later than us. We were outside, but she was giving people hugs and I was waiting for my turn, you know, and I walked towards her. And normally since all this has been going on, especially, you know, towards the end here, <clears throat> over the last two years, it's been bad, but like towards the end, it's been really bad. And I'd be just standing there waiting for people to come to me because I could not like walk towards people. I couldn't take a couple steps without hurting. So anyway, I was walking towards her and she was like, she looked at me and I was like, I look at me, I'm walking towards you. And she's like, I know I was about to say, I can't believe it. And so, yeah, it's just like the littlest things that used to hurt and now they don't. I'm so thankful. And so I just had to come on here and let you guys know that. Yay. Thank you for your prayers. Thanks for following along. You should know some things soon as far as, you know, an official diagnosis, an official treatment. But yeah, I, it doesn't matter from here on out. I'm just so thankful and grateful. Yay. Today's the eclipse day and it's pretty like bright out. It's like cloudy, but bright. And I don't know if we're going to be able to really see much of the eclipse, but anyway, that's that's today. And I don't know if we're, I'm going to, you know, I have meetings. I'm going to be in, at work. Um, speaking of meetings, one thing that happened that I wanted to tell you guys about was early December. It was like the worst, I think, pain. Um, and I remember because we had a lot of meetings in early December and, or I had a lot of meetings at work and, um, yeah, so I would go to this, these meetings and just walking. It's not very far that I'd have to walk, but just getting there, then sitting um, for, you know, an hour or whatever, and then getting up, like getting out of my chair and walking back to my office to get more notes or to refresh my water or whatever. And then, you know, going back, like I just remember it was several days of complete and total pain and it was misery. And I would just be, and I was taking narcotics. I'm still taking um, some narcotics, but it didn't matter. It hurt so bad. And I was just like cringing every single time I had to like walk somewhere. Um, and now I don't have it. I don't have that pain when I get up out of my chair. When I walk, I don't walk with a limp. I'm just like, ugh. now I cannot walk long distances. It has to be short, but still even back when, you know, it was bad, I would be walking short distances and I'd be limping and, oh, so much better now. Yay. The other thing that I wanted to tell you that is just something that is, it feels like such an accomplishment is I had all that rib pain. Now you guys know, if you've seen all of my videos, you know that I've tried almost everything to help me get through the hard times or to help try to diagnose or to, I would try anything. Anybody said, oh, you should try this. I would, I would try it. I had so much rib pain when I turned over in bed that I even tried to take like, um, pillow stuffing cushion and put it around me and like <laughs> attach it around my uh, midsection here so that when I rolled over in bed, it wouldn't hurt so bad. It didn't really help, but I tried it. It got worse after that point. That was like, looking back to that day when I made that video, it was like hardly anything. It got so bad after that. But anyway, um, to the point where my ribs hurt so bad, I couldn't wear a regular bra and I would go and try, you know, I'd be going to Walmart and buying like all kinds of different bigger bras and make sure like they were bigger around the, what's it called? Chest area. What is it called? Where your ribs are. Anyway. Um, and it didn't matter no matter what I put on, it hurt so bad. It'd be so big and it didn't matter if it like barely touched my 
ribs. I just had so many fractures, I guess. It was miserable. And so I went to um, Dollar General and I was like, let me just try, you know, maybe they have a different kind of bra. Let me just look while I'm here. And it was a extra, extra large comfort bra that you just pull over and it's like stretchy. It's extra, extra large and it was stretchy. And I got home and I was like, this is going to work. I mean, it's going to work. It's not going to give me much support, but it's going to be a bra and it'll be fine because it's so big. It's not going to be like touching me. It even hurt. So I took scissors and cut the side. The worst pain was on the left side and I had, and I needed some support. So I couldn't like cut on both sides. But I tried to cut on one side and I snipped the most, where the most elastic was. And um, I wore that for a while, but it still hurt. And today I'm wearing that same bra just to see and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't have any tenderness and I'm just so shocked. So it's just the little things y'all I'm so excited about. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to come on here and tell you that. And it's such a blessing. I'm very thankful. And I hope you guys are doing good on this eclipse Monday, April 8th. No, yeah, it's April 8th, 2024. I hope you guys are doing good and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.